I am Ra. We communicate now. Question 85.1. Questioner, could you first give me the condition of the instrument? Answer, I am Ra. We ask your permission to preface this answer by the inclusion of the greeting which we use. Question 85.2. Questioner, that is agreeable. Answer, I am Ra. We greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We were having some difficulty with the channel of energy influx due to pain flare, as you call this distortion of the physical body complex of this instrument. Therefore, it was necessary to speak as briefly as possible until we had safely transferred the mind, body, spirit complex of this instrument. We beg your kind indulgence for our discourtesy which was appropriate. The condition of this instrument is as follows. The necessity for extreme vigilance is less, due to the somewhat lessened physical complex energy deficit. The potential for distortion remains and continued watchfulness over the ingestion of helpful foodstuffs continues to be recommended. Although the instrument is experiencing more than a, shall we say, normal, for this mind, body, spirit complex, distortions towards pain at this space-time nexus the basic condition is less distorted. The vital energies are as previously stated. We commend the vigilance and care of this group. Question 85.3 Questioner, what is the current situation with respect to our fifth density, service to self-polarized companion? Answer, I am Ra. Your companion has never been more closely associated with you than at the present nexus. You may see a kind of crisis occurring upon the so-called magical level at this particular space-time nexus. Question 85.4 Questioner, what is the nature of this crisis? Answer, I am Ra. The nature of this crisis is the determination of the relative polarity of your companion and yourselves. You are in the position of being in the third density illusion and consequently having the conscious collective magical ability of the neophyte, whereas your companion is most adept. However, the faculties of will and faith and the calling to the light have been used by this group to the exclusion of any significant defolarization from the service to others path. If your companion can possibly defolarize this group it must do so and that quickly, for in this unsuccessful attempt at exploring the wisdom of separation it is encountering some defolarization. This shall continue. Therefore, the efforts of your companion are pronounced at this space-time and time-space nexus. Question 85.5 Questioner, I am totally aware of the lack of necessity or rational need for naming of entities or things, but I was wondering if this particular entity had a name just so that we could increase our efficiency of communicating with respect to him. Does he have a name? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. Question 85.6. Questioner, would it be magically bad for us to know that name, or would it make no difference? Answer, I am Ra. It would make a difference. Question 85.7. Questioner, what would the difference be? Answer, I am Ra. If one wishes to have power over an entity it is an aid to know that entity's name. If one wishes no power over an entity but wishes to collect that entity into the very heart of one's own being it is well to forget the naming. Both processes are magically viable. Each is polarized in a specific way. It is your choice. Question 85.8 Questioner, I am assuming that it would be a problem for the instrument to meditate without the hand pressure from the other self at this time because of the continued greeting. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct if the instrument wishes to remain free from this potential separation of its mind, body, spirit complex from the third density it now experiences. Question 85.9. Questioner, since our fifth density companion has been monitoring our communication with Ra it has been made aware of the veiling process of which we have been speaking. It seems to me that conscious knowledge and acceptance of the fact that this veiling process was used for the purpose for which it was used would make it difficult to maintain high negative polarization. Could you clear up my thinking on that please? Answer, I am Ra. We are unsure as to our success in realigning your modes of mentation. We may, however, comment. The polarization process, as it enters fourth density, is one which occurs with full knowledge of the veiling process which has taken place in third density. 
This veiling processes that which is a portion of the third density experience. The knowledge and memory of the outcome of this and all portions of the third density experience informs the higher density polarized entity. It, however, does not influence the choice which has been made and which is the basis for further work past third density in polarization. Those which have chosen the service to others asterisk path have simply used the veiling process in order to potentiate that which is not. This is an entirely acceptable method of self-knowledge of and by the Creator. Asterisk this should be service to self. Don and Ra correct the error later in the session. Question 85.10 Questioner, you just stated that those who are on the service to others path use the veiling process to potentiate that which is not. I believe that I am correct in repeating what you said. Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. Question 85.11. Questioner, then the service to others asterisk path has potentiated that which is not. Could you expand that a little bit so that I could understand it a little better? Answer, I am Ra. If you see the energy centers in their various colors completing the spectrum you may see that the service to others asterisk choice is one which denies the very center of the spectrum, that being universal love. Therefore, all that is built upon the penetration of the light of harvestable quality by such entities is based upon an omission. This omission shall manifest in fourth density as the love of self, that is, the fullest expression of the orange and yellow energy centers which then are used to potentiate communication and adepthood. When fifth density refinement has been achieved that which is not is carried further, the wisdom density being explored by entities which have no compassion no universal love. They experience that which they wish by free choice, being of the earnest opinion that green ray energy is folly. That which is not may be seen as a self-imposed darkness in which harmony is turned into an eternal disharmony. However, that which is not cannot endure throughout the octave of third density and, as darkness eventually calls the light, so does that which is not eventually call that which is. Asterisk this should be service to self. Don and Ra correct the elevator in the session. Question 85.12 Questioner, I believe that there were salient errors in the communication that we just completed because of transmission difficulties. Are you aware of these errors? Answer, I am Ra. We are unaware of errors although this instrument is experiencing flares of pain, as you call this distortion. We welcome and encourage your perceptions in correcting any errors in transmission. 